Okay, so before we go on to actually bringing in our images into Lightroom, before we import, we need to do three things. We need to set up a standard develop preset that's going to apply standard develop setting to our images, a standard metadata preset that applies standard and basic metadata to our images, and then we're going to create the standard import preset, which is going to use both of those previous presets in bringing in our images into Lightroom. So in this video, let's get started first by setting up our standard import develop preset. Okay, now this preset is actually already included if you are a Lightroom 4 preset system user. It's actually the 00 standard import preset that's already there. If you don't own the SR Lounge Lightroom 4 preset system, don't worry, we're gonna go step by step and show you how to create this preset. If you do own it, you can still go through this video and maybe follow along just to kind of see what we're doing as well as maybe to tweak your Lightroom 4 preset system a bit. Okay, now at this point, what I want you guys to do is to load up kind of just a basic image that is properly exposed, has decent temperature, like the temperature settings are pretty close in camera. Just a basic example of what an average picture of yours might be, okay? So if you're a portrait photographer, then you know, you're probably gonna load up something like this, that's a portrait. If you are a landscape photographer, you're gonna load up a landscape, uh, and so on. All right, so just load up an image that kind of represents your average image. Now, we want to make sure that that image is basically properly exposed and it has a decent temperature in because when we set up our standard develop preset, we don't want to basically have to worry about exposure and temperature. We want to develop all of our presets to basically work on an image that is properly exposed. So the only thing that we're ever adjusting from image to image is exposure and temperature. So for us, we're going to use this image here, which is a good example of one of our typical portraits, and uh, we're going to apply our settings to it. Keep in mind, while we're making the standard develop preset, you guys will want to do small things to tweak it here and there to fit your own style and preferences. The, the preset that we're going to show you is great, but is based on our style. And if you like that style, then cool, feel free to use it. But just know that this is kind of based on what we typically like and the looks that we kind of go for. All right, so let's get started. We're first gonna dial in some basic settings. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to highlights. We're gonna dial it down to negative 20. And the reason for that is we wanna basically pull down a little bit of the highlight tones just to kind of smooth it out just a little bit. Okay, we wanna kind of even out the overall tones in the image. Not too much, because we'll kill too much contrast if we do that, but just a bit. All right, we're gonna go to our shadows. We're gonna add a little bit of detail in the shadows just to kind of lift it out a little bit. We're also gonna add uh, just a bit of whites and this is gonna basically increase the kind of pure whites in the shot, which is gonna give us a little bit of contrast. And then we're gonna decrease the blacks by negative 20. Adding a bit of whites and subtracting blacks is actually mimicking what a slightly S-shaped tone curve would do in adding contrast. All right, now we're gonna move down to clarity. We're gonna add a bit of clarity, just to about plus 15, just to increase a little bit of the overall kind of mid-tone contrast, pull out a little bit more detail. Now with the new Lightroom 4 clarity, be careful not to take this up too high because it'll have a very much kind of a high pass filtered, super sharp kind of look to the image. So we leave it at 15 because this is a general standard developed preset. We're not going for any special effects here. We're going for something that works basically on everything. Okay, we're gonna add 15 vibrance as well just to boost a tiny bit of colors. And now we're done with the basic panel. Let's drop down over to the detail panel where we're gonna add a bit of sharpening. Now what I would do is I'd recommend you guys zoom into one to one on this and kind of add sharpening to your taste. And for our taste, this is kind of our default setting. As we go up to about plus 70 on the amount, we'll take the radius up to 1.5. We also will reduce the detail to negative, or sorry, just a 10. So subtract out 15 from the default. And what that does is it basically tells Lightroom to not sharpen the smallest details. So like pores on the skin and stuff like that, we don't really wanna sharpen those areas. And what we're also gonna to do to do basically the same thing is we're gonna also increase our masking just to plus 20. Has kind of the same effect where basically we're telling Lightroom just to ignore the finest of those details. We want it to focus mainly on kind of the overall stronger lines in the image. All right, we don't need any noise reduction or anything like that because again, this is a general developed preset that we want to use on every image. So that's fine for the detail. And then let's go down to lens corrections. Now for lens corrections, what we want to do is go to the amount and for vignetting, we're gonna go plus 30. And then for the midpoint, we're gonna also do 30. Okay, now what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna brighten up the edges a bit. This is just a slight vignette that's gonna reverse basically the natural vignetting caused by most lenses. And so if we undo that, you can kind of see it just gets a little bit darker on the edges. So again, let's go up to plus 30. 
it's a very small amount that's not really noticeable. We just want to make sure that basically the edge tones, from the edge to edge, it's basically all the same luminance levels. That's what it's kind of designed to do. All right, last thing, we're going to go into color. We're going to click on Remove Chromatic Aberration, and that's going to have Lightroom remove any chromatic aberration wherever possible. All right, now let's go over here, and we're going to save out our preset. And what we're going to do is we want to create a little organizational structure first. We're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call this folder 00, and then all caps, My Mixology. You guys can call it really whatever you want, but be sure to put the 00 in front of it. We put that there because... Lightroom becomes default with all these presets that we basically never use. We don't like these presets. I don't like them. If you guys like them, then cool. But what I like is to have all the presets that I like and that I use at the top of this preset list because we can't actually remove these default presets. We've done a ton of reading on it, guys, and unfortunately, as of right now, there's no way to remove them. We'll let you guys know if we do find a way, though. All right, so by adding the 00, it's automatically going to sort our presets and these folders up to the top. So we're going to create that folder. You guys can call it, if you don't like my mixology, you can call it whatever you want. Basically, whenever we put together different uh, presets and we create new recipes, we call it mixology. So we call this folder my mixology. All right, we're going to hit create. And now we're going to create a new preset under my mixology folder, and that's going to be labeled 00 standard import. And then we're going to add reset on parentheses on the next one because the standard import preset will reset. It's designed to reset anything that we apply. So it's basically going to get us back to where we brought in our images into Lightroom in the first place. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just select check all. So it's going to select every one of these adjustments and then we're going to hit create. Now it creates a new preset under this My Mixology folder, 00 standard import. Once again, we add the numbers to make sure that the sorting is correct. Because this is the default standard import preset that we use for all of our images, we want it to show up at the very top so that it's easy to select. All right, so let's take a look at the before and after. So here's the image before, and here's the image after. And you can see that just that standard import preset is basically just bringing out some of the detail, making it a little more contrasty and uh, basically uh, adjusting a little bit of the vignetting so that we have even toning from edge to edge. Now let's do one other thing at this point. Make sure that you still have this standard import preset selected. What we're going to do is go to the lens vignetting and we're going to just deselect uh, vignetting just to put the amount at zero. Okay, so we have no lens vignetting. We're going to set up one more standard import preset with lens profile corrections automated. Okay, so what we're going to do is go over here to profile and we're going to select enable profile corrections. Now what this will do is it's going to read from the camera metadata and it's going to make adjustments to correct distortion and vignetting and everything based on the lens that was shot in the metadata. Okay, So we're going to leave everything up to Lightroom in this case to be able to do that. Alright, so that's the only adjustment that we're going to make. We can go back to manual. Everything else stays the same. Okay, So we're going to create a new preset now at this point. This is going to be 00 again. Standard import. Only this time it includes with PC. Profile corrections. Okay. We're going to hit create, and so now we have two versions of the standard import preset. One that's just standard, it's not going to perfect uh, lens profile corrections, and one that is going to add lens profile corrections to these images. Now for those of you that are, say, nature or landscape photographers, it might be a good idea for you guys to basically use the standard import preset with profile corrections, because it's going to adjust the lens distortion and, and natural vignetting that occurs with your images automatically. For the rest of you, for portrait photographers, wedding photographers, for basically anybody else, I would recommend just using the standard import preset without profile corrections. And the reason why is because oftentimes when we're shooting uh, images that have subjects in them, when have people in them, sorry, not just plain subjects, but that actually have people in them, using the profile corrections can sometimes cause distortions that you don't want on your subject. Sometimes it works out just fine. Like in this shot, it's not really a big deal. But in a lot of shots, it's going to correct the distortion and because of a subject being near the edge of a frame or whatever, it's going to make them look really kind of funky. Okay, so for the rest of you, keep it off and use it kind of on, use profile correction on a kind of image by image basis, unless you are a landscape or nature photographer. All right, guys, great job. We've set up our standard import develop presets and we're ready to go on to the next tutorial.